morning, you 20 family. How are you today? I'm doing great. Hopefully you are too. Um, beautiful day out. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I have a cat. <laughs> hey girl. Yeah, I could just pulled up. Hey girl. She was off actually in all night. She just came outside. A little while ago when Jesse came downstairs to eat breakfast. Hey girl, what are you doing? So Jason and I um, went to the hardware store and we got something to see that. See how it's black? Well, it's brown, but it looks kind of black on the camera, I guess, but it's just mold. Um, so we bought a mold cleaner and we started working on it yesterday. Um, so this was like the first, the first time that we've done it. Um, and it actually, actually worked really good. I don't know. It, I think I have a video of it from before, but yeah, it actually did a really good job. We did this. We're going to do it again, obviously, because it's, this was just the first time run. we haven't done it since we moved here. Didn't know we had to. It was one of those things that just started getting worse and worse. And we didn't realize that we had to like do something with it. It's just something, you know, and then we also did this over here and this actually came out really good. Like this was so um, black before. So yeah, tons of bees in this thing. I don't know where Charlie went. I don't think he feels good. He just is really lackluster today, sleeping a lot. And I don't know, I just don't think he feels good. This grass needs to be watered. It is dying. It's this intense heat. We've had intense heat for days. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if Charlie feels very good. I know he fell. The other day I was, well, he's going to go to the bathroom. So, it, Charlie has this thing is when you're holding him and you carry him up the stairs, when you go to put him down, he wiggles and then he, sometimes he flips out of your hands. I don't know why he does that, but he just, he just wiggles. And then like sometimes he flips and then he did that the other day to me and he actually landed like on his back and I broke my heart because I mean the dog is old you know he is actually his birthday is um, July 25th and so he will be 13 years old which is 91 in dog age so he's he's a little old guy but for some reason I don't know why he does that flipping thing when I go to put him down so I have to carry him up the stairs because he can't make it up the stairs up and down the stairs on his own and it just, it broke my heart to see him flip onto his back. And I try so hard to put him down so he doesn't flip, but didn't, he just he just does it. Anyway, hopefully he didn't get hurt. But he also has like, um, it's like, a, like a neuropathy in his back legs. He doesn't really bend them. Um, he walks really, really weird. I'll yeah, see, he's just really, and he's panting, which he doesn't normally do. I mean, obviously dogs pant when they get hot. Um, but he just seems to be having a real hard time walking today. I'm wondering if he injured himself when he flipped over. Okay, Charlie. You okay, buddy? Hey, Ender. Yeah, you need to stay in the yard. And Miss Moss, I don't know if you guys can see her because she's in the shade. But there she is. All sprawled out. Look at this. Yeah? Really? Look at you. You're so sassy. You're such a sassafras. Yeah, you're enjoying yourself? Yeah? Oh, yeah. She's such a pretty cat. She's gorgeous. Anyway, today is uh, Jason has a meeting day. I'm gonna go run some errands, I think. Uh, I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt. I never wear a sleeveless because I'm really paranoid. I'm like self-conscious about my arms. I know, is that a girl thing? Maybe. But it's funny because I've never been like overweight a day in my life. I've always been on, on the small side. Um, I'm only five feet tall, so it's like, you know, there's not much to me. Anyway. Um, 
but yeah I've never been overweight especially like I don't know I just never have been but for some reason as I get older like my arms I like have like this flabby stuff on my arms and it's I'm really self-conscious about it it's weird right I know little TMI but for that reason I don't I don't often wear sleeveless shirts but I bought this shirt a few years ago um because I really liked it and I've lost I've lost weight since I bought it the first time so I put it on the, for the first time in like two years today and I was like okay I can, I can wear this it's not it's not too bad I feel better now that um, I actually ended up losing weight. Like I said, even though I wasn't, I was never, I've never been overweight, but when you're five feet tall, 10 pounds is huge for you. You know, like you just, you look, you can look overweight very easily just because you don't have the height to stretch, you know, the extra weight out. But anyway, that's just my thing. But I feel very comfortable. It feels really good. Um, it's really, really warm. It's, it's supposed to be, I, I think it's supposed to be in the upper 90s today. Um, it has been anyway. It's been just so hot. Um, and I'm, I'm th actually thankful that it's been hot in Massachusetts too. Because Jill and the kids are coming down this week. Oh, there's the shade. That's right. Jill and the kids are coming down this week. And I didn't want them to come from Boston and just be like instant like sweat balls. Um because not being used to the heat but they've actually it's actually been warm up where they live too so it's not like they're gonna get off the airplane and just melt um, but it actually is really cool because now we can use the pool too so lots of pool time I think I just saw somebody oh yeah it's Jason hey guys so I'm in the car alone well I have Charlie Charlie likes to go with me um, he doesn't like to not go with me gets really upset as soon as I start getting ready to go he starts like jumping around and stuff and it really just gets excited and so I kind of have to bring him um, but that's okay just have a few things I gotta do I don't know I just like to get out of the house I just hate sitting in the house especially when it's nice out like I just feel like I'm missing out on something do you guys ever feel like that like you're just missing out on life I wish the twins felt like that they're just like in their room reading. It's like, don't you guys want to come? Like, I asked them if they wanted to go with me. And they were like, man. We're going to go out for pizza later, though. So, that'll get them out of the house anyway. And with the family coming um, this week, then, you know, they'll be, they'll be doing a little bit more. They won't just be sitting. Jill's not going to let them just sit on their bed gonna make them play board games and stuff which is good which is good but anyway yeah um i'm just heading off to do a couple things and then i don't know i guess i will whoa stop at this uh red light <laughs> anyway uh yeah i'll talk with you guys in, in a little bit i just wanted to check it i'm all caught up on vlogs like the vlog the vlog that i posted today was just from three days ago so i am totally caught up on vlogs i don't have any I don't have any backups, which scares me. I'm used to having backups. So if I don't vlog every day now, then I'm gonna get behind and then I won't, I'll wake up one day and I won't have a vlog for you guys. And that's really, really scary for me. So um, I'm gonna try to vlog every day and uh, yeah, let you guys know what's going on. And hopefully we'll get the twins on the vlog today. But anyway, I will talk to you guys in a little bit, okay? Just like that, I'm home. Um, yeah, just uh, did what I had to do. Uh, grabbed a quick bite to eat while I was at Whole Foods. Whole Foods has a really cool, or I should say hot, um, food section. Like, you can go and get hot foods. You just take, well, actually, I can show you. I'll show you what I got. So you grab one of these, and then you just fill it with food. I got rice, um, some beef, I got some pulled pork, and some sweet potatoes. So it was really just, just not a whole bunch, just a little bite to eat because I know we're going to go out to eat later. But they have just like an amazing selection of hot food that you can grab for lunch or dinner. It's really, really good. Um, but anyway, I went to Whole Foods, got just a little tiny mini haul, um, mostly snacks. 
I know you guys are all going to be like, oh, you guys eat so much processed food and crap. I know. I know we do. But you know what? My body, my choice. Um, anyway, let me show you something. So today's actually Amazon Prime Day. So they gave me this, they gave me this free, this free bag. Um, so yeah, very nice. I'll tell you a little story about this um, when I'm done with my little thing. Anyway, I got this, look at this. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Yum. Uh, Jason has regular chocolate chip cookies. Um, and like I said, by all means, this was not a regular shopping trip. This was just a, you know, just a filler for the week. Anyway, I came across their gluten-free um, section. What's this? Hold on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so this is gluten-free cookie dough cheesecake bar and gluten-free patriotic cheesecake bar. And then these are gluten-free little like cupcakes. Oh, those look delicious. I got some orange juice to go with my meal. This one was okay, but this one here is a bigger bottle, as you can see. That one's bigger. This stuff is amazing. It's tropical delight. This stuff is amazing. I'm not a big, huge juice person, but I've been craving this ever since I tried it. Um, grab this for the girls when they come. It's a little kickboard. Um, Jason always likes to. I try to teach them how to swim. And I just got myself some body lotion that smells like roses and it smells super, super dummy. Super, super dummy, yeah, super, super yummy. Anyway, that was my quick mini junk food, um, whole foods haul. So I go there all the time because that's just what I do. I go to Whole Foods, I like Whole Foods. I mean, you have an app and it's attached to Amazon because I guess Amazon and um, Whole Foods are like the same company or something or they bought one another. Somebody bought somebody, I don't know. I don't know the whole story Jason does. But anyway, you have an app and you scan your app and then it gives you discounts for Amazon Prime members. So I always do that, you know, cause I go there, you know, every every few weeks I go to Whole Foods and it's not my first time ever being there. So I scanned my, I scanned my app and for some reason it didn't take. So the lady was like, Oh, you're not eligible for Prime discount. You have to be a Prime member. And I was like, no, I am a Prime member. I'm like, it, I don't know why the app didn't work, but I'm a Prime member. She's like, mm. like seriously, like that's what she was doing to me. You don't know how bad I wanted to jump over that counter and just smack her upside the head. I'm not a violent person, but I don't like to be... I don't like to be patronized like that. I don't like to be, you know, like I'm not a liar. I go there and I told her, I'm like, I come to Whole Foods all the time. I use my app every single time and it always works. I don't know why it's not working this time. And then she looks over to somebody, she goes, yeah, she's not eligible because I don't know, it's not prime member or something. And I'm like, no, I'm like, I am eligible. I have a, look, I'm like showing, I'm like, look, I have a Prime app. I'm a Prime member. So I hit the Prime app, because the first time I used the Whole Foods app, I hit the Prime app and the Whole Foods section comes up. So I hit Whole Foods and then I showed her the thing and she's like, oh, and she scanned it and she's like, oh, okay, yes, yes, you are. You're a Prime member. I'm like, no, bleep, 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 lady. I didn't really say that. But that was what was going through my mind. I can imagine you know what was going through your mind. Yeah. There was probably a word that began with an F and probably a word that began with an S. So, yeah. Uh, lady. That, yeah, the end of it, lady. Anyway. Um, but I got my stuff. And I'm happy. I'm going to try some of this junk food, this gluten-free junk food, because I don't eat a whole lot of junk food because I'm gluten-free and I don't, you know, I, I don't get a whole lot of like cupcakes and stuff like that. Although, although I do have that one bakery that I go to that has the gluten-free cupcakes that is really, really delicious. And so I treat myself like once a week, if that, um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try one of my, I'm gonna try one of those mini cupcakes, these things. These look really good, right? I'm gonna try one. Hope it's not gross. I'm just hoping it's gross because then he'll eat it because he doesn't think anything's gross.